it's the 27th of April and I thought I would just do a video just a short video about the red Deshojo maples here the Deshojo maples are all at different stages of their coloration this particular one is a large one that we grew ourselves we grew it in the field and it's about 70 or 80 centimeter tall and it's in a large plastic training bonsai pot and this tree has the typical red they showed your color if I walk around the nursery I will show you different Deshojos and they all will have different colors this is also a Deshojo but it's almost a slightly orange color that is deep red the typical this is typical Deshojo so are these and so are these here we have a selection of Deshojos the bright red ones have been stood out on our benches throughout the winter without any protection <clears throat> so they have got their leaves much later so they're still bright red this bigger tree is also a Deshojo but that one has emerged in the greenhouse so it's already starting turning color and now I move to these two these are also Deshojos and you can see how the leaves have turned from that bright red to almost turning green so this gives you some idea as to how Deshojos behave so don't be disappointed if your Deshojo turns green it is part of the normal process of forming the chlorophyll in the leaves now these are some more Deshojo maples I want to show you these are all our major specimen trees and they are all from 90 to 110 centimeter tall they are very large Deshojos and they are being grown in these growing baskets just to strengthen the tree they are not for display or exhibition so I haven't bothered to put them in proper bonsai pots at this stage but they were exhibition trees at some stage but I'm talking about the Deshojo color so again this is a typical Deshojo color but if I come closer into some of the leaves you will see that the center of the leaves are beginning to turn green make a note of this because I'm going to explain a little more about the color changes of Deshojo now I'm going to switch from the large specimens that I showed you just now these ones and I will switch to this one you will see that the color is quite quite different it is a much softer red almost verging on pink and if I home in on these leaves you will see again that the center is turning green this particular specimen again growing in one of these baskets was kept in our greenhouses at the back and this tree was allowed to come into leaf in the greenhouse so it had a head start of about two or three weeks so it came into the leaf much earlier so it had a longer start than the other ones those ones were left in the open throughout the winter they were not taken indoors so they stood outside here in temperatures sometimes as low as minus eight and on one night minus ten for a couple of hours but they were allowed to emerge uh, in the open that means the leaves were allowed to come out completely in the open never kept in the greenhouse at all whereas this one was kept in the greenhouse so it had a head start of two or three weeks the point I'm trying to make is that when you keep a Deshojo in a greenhouse and force it to come into leaf they come into leaf much earlier and they start turning of course much earlier the red color of the Deshojo only stays this bright red for I would say three or four weeks and then they will start 
turning color. If I switch from this tree to this tree, you can see that there's a slight difference in color. And then when I switch from this tree to this tree, you will see that there's even more difference in color. But they are all Deshojo maples. I'm just giving your eyes a rest and I'm going to just give you a quick shot of our evergreens. These are our pines and these are our Chinese junipers. Just a quick tour. And now I will go back to the Deshojo maple for discussion. It's now seven o'clock in the evening and we have a nice sunny day and it's the evening time and as you can see the sun is about to set the background of the oak trees and there you are have a quick burst of the sun it's very low on the horizon but I will now home in again on some of the Deshojos these Deshojos again were all allowed to emerge in the open that means the leaves were allowed to emerge in the open they were not protected in greenhouses so that again is the typical uh, so are these so this i would say is the typical de shoujo color these small de shoujos were allowed to come into leaf in a greenhouse so what i want to show you close up is that they start turning from that red gradually turning green like this and most in fact all the shoujos they have that very bright red for about two months and then they get progressively green so when people buy the shoujos i hope they don't expect the tree to stay red all through the year it is a very much sp a spring tree and the Japanese call the shoujo and seigen and the sahizuru all these colorful maples as spring trees they are exhibited in the spring because that's when the color is at its best and after the spring they start turning this slightly green color so I'm just showing you for contrast that is at its peak of its red color and this little one that is turning green so this is the point I'm trying to make this is true also of the large trees I'm now going to take you for a walk in our fields this by the way is a large crab apple tree and it is absolutely smothered in flower but I'm just going to walk into our field because I want to show you some of the shoujo trees that I've grown in our Japanese garden area. I've grown several maples in one particular part of the Japanese garden and as I walk there I will show you the differences in the color of the trees. This one in front, this slightly orange colored maple, this believe it or not, is also a de shoujo. The one next to it is also a de shoujo. Now they've all been growing in the open and they've all emerged at the same time. Now this particular tree, two thirds of the tree is this typical red de shoujo color, but the top is beginning to get slightly pale and turning slightly green. Now this they showed you for some reason has this funny orangey color. I don't know why. It was red for a brief period but it changed very very quickly. So it just shows that they showed you do vary quite a bit. Some of you may have seen this tree in that previous video I did about spring colors 
And this is the deshojo that I've grown in front of my own house. This deshojo, I would say, is about 15 feet in height. And I purchased it from Kyushu in southern Japan from a village called Yamagata. I remember buying this tree in April of 1990 and we bought a couple of these trees and this particular one was planted in front of my house uh, literally after it arrived. So it's been growing in the ground for the last 29 years, since 1990. But again, I want to show you this tree emerged, that means the leaves emerged about two weeks ago. It emerged a bright red and you can see on the same tree, the leaves are all at different stages of the color changes. This is the bright red and these leaves have started turning green. So they turn this funny orangey color. Same with this branch. Some of the leaves are still bright red, but some of them are turning this slightly orangey green color. So on the same tree, you will notice at the end of April, some of the leaves are very, very pale because they were red to begin with, but they started to turn uh, yellowish and then they will turn green. In two weeks time, you won't know that this is a Deshojo maple because the entire tree will have turned a green color. And by the way, I should tell you that there is no such thing as a blue maple. Some of you may have come across a guy in the state selling seeds for blue maple. There is no such thing as a blue maple. And to add insult to injury, he has used pictures of our maples, used my hands and used some of the footage from our YouTube videos to sell his seeds and trees. You probably know who I mean. So be careful of people who sell you blue maples or purple maples. There is so no, no such thing. All maples are either green, orange or red. So I thought I would leave you with this lovely image of the Deshojo in front of my house at Herons. Sorry I'm not in the picture because I've been taking the images myself on my iPhone and I hope the quality is good enough for you to enjoy. Thank you very much.